We've got a mind-boggling topic that's been buzzing around the AI community. OpenAI's latest breakthrough, Project QSTAR. Whether you're new to AI or a seasoned enthusiast, this video aims to break down the complexities and provide you with a clear understanding of what Project QSTAR is all about. All right, let's get started. QSTAR Origins. Let's dig into where QSTAR got its name. It's a cool combo of Q learning and the ASTAR pathfinding algorithm. The Q in QSTAR is all about Q learning, a way machines get smarter by learning from experiences, like getting better at a video game. Now, the ASTAR comes from the A search algorithm, a computer science whiz that finds the quickest routes in tricky situations. Together, it's like QSTAR is this tag team of learning and finding the way. Project QSTAR unveiled. So let's delve into the intriguing unveiling of Project QSTAR. Recent reports have given us a sneak peek into this cutting edge model, showcasing its prowess in learning and tackling mathematical challenges. Now, before you imagine it solving mind-bending equations, hold on, we're not there just yet. However, the potential for such capabilities is undeniably on the horizon. What's particularly Particularly fascinating is that the mere existence of Project QSTAR has caused quite a stir. Reports are buzzing with the revelation that this new model has prompted some serious eyebrow raising. It's not every day that a technological advancement manages to raise concerns about its impact on humanity. Intriguingly, a rift has emerged within the AI community regarding Project QSTAR. On one side, there's excitement about the possibilities it presents for pushing the boundaries of machine learning. On the other, there are those who express genuine concerns, asserting that the very existence of QSTAR has the potential to pose threats to humanity. The drama surrounding Project QSTAR isn't just about its technological prowess, it's about the ethical and existential questions it raises. Q Learning Deep Dive Now that we've got a glimpse of Project QSTAR, let's roll up our sleeves and take a deep dive into the inner workings of Q Learning, the backbone of QSTAR. Picture it as the engine running under the hood, making the magic happen. Q Learning is a method rooted in reinforcement learning, a concept where our AI friend learns the ropes by trial and error, akin to how you might train your pet. To to truly grasp QSTAR, we need to understand the gears turning within Q learning, and that involves breaking down some key components. First up, there's the environment. Think of it as the stage where our AI agent, or our learning machine, operates. It could be a virtual game or maze, creating the backdrop for our AI's learning journey. Then comes the concept of states and actions. In our gaming world, states could be different situations, and actions are the moves our AI can make, like choosing to go left or right in a game. It's like teaching your pet to respond to different cues. Here, our AI responds to varying states with different actions. Now here's where it gets a bit mysterious. The Q table. Think of it as the cheat sheet for our AI. It advises the agent on the best action in each state. Initially, it's like a blank canvas filled with guesses since the AI is still getting acquainted with its environment. As our AI explores its virtual world, it receives feedback on its actions. Positive actions earn rewards, negative ones earn penalties. This feedback helps our AI update the Q table, learning from its experiences and improving its decision making over time. Updating the Q table involves involves a bit of math, but fear not. We'll demystify the Q-learning algorithm, breaking it down into simple steps that make navigating this virtual world feel like a stroll in the park. As our AI agent navigates through its environment, updating the Q-table becomes crucial. This table is more than just a cheat sheet. It's the learning mechanism that guides our AI's decision-making process. Think of it as the evolving wisdom our AI gains as it interacts with its surroundings. Now let's take a quick peek at the formal side of Q-learning. While the formulas may seem intimidating at first glance, fear not, they're surprisingly straightforward when compared to other complex machine learning algorithms. This dynamism and interactivity set Q-learning apart, allowing it to continuously learn and adapt from new data and user interactions. The beauty of Q-learning lies in its ability to optimize decision-making, address biases in training data, and remain goal-oriented. It's akin to playing a sophisticated video game, where our AI gradually hones its skills, learning the best moves and strategies to achieve the highest score. Picture this, our AI is like a gamer, exploring a complex complex virtual realm, figuring out the best decisions for each unique situation. The Q-table serves as its trusty guide, providing insights on the most rewarding actions in different states. Over time, with enough exploration and learning, the Q-table becomes increasingly accurate, transforming our AI into a virtual maestro capable of predicting the most rewarding actions in various scenarios. In essence, Q-learning is the engine behind Project QSTAR, ensuring that our AI model not only interacts with its environment efficiently, but also considers long long-term consequences in its decision-making process. A star algorithm explored. Now that we've gained a solid understanding of Q-learning, let's shift our focus to another key player in the AI arena, the A star algorithm. Think of it as the pathfinding wizard, adept at uncovering the shortest routes in complex mazes and scenarios. So what's the
the deal with ASTAR. This algorithm is a smart and efficient way to navigate through possibilities, especially when the goal is finding the shortest path from point A to point B. Imagine it as your GPS system, but with an ingenious twist. ASTAR combines the actual distance traveled with an estimate of the remaining distance to the destination, always selecting the path that appears shortest overall. This ensures that the algorithm quickly hones in on the most efficient route, avoiding unnecessary detours and saving precious time. Now, you might be wondering, what does a route-finding algorithm have to do with anything beyond maps? Well, that's where it gets really interesting. The ASTAR algorithm isn't limited to navigating physical spaces. It can be applied to optimization problems across various domains. Consider a manufacturing process optimization challenge where the goal is to maximize efficiency while minimizing costs. Each point in the search space represents a unique set of process parameters, such as machine speeds and material choices. ASTAR can deftly navigate this space, evaluating each parameter set based on a cost function function, similar to estimating distance in mapping. The algorithm then estimates the best path to the optimal solution, factoring in both the current cost and a projection of future costs. This adaptable approach can be tailored to various optimization scenarios, including scheduling, resource allocation, and network design. And here's the exciting part. The same principles that make ASTAR a master of maze solving can potentially revolutionize problem solving in other domains, like large language models and generative AI. QSTAR for language models. Now that we've laid the groundwork with Q-learning and the ASTAR algorithm, let's explore the speculative realm where QSTAR intersects with AI training, particularly in the domain of large language models. Here's where it gets intriguing. How does QSTAR fit into the puzzle of training AI models, especially those geared toward understanding and generating language? We're entering the speculative territory, but it's an area filled with potential breakthroughs. Current language models face their fair share of challenges. Despite their impressive capabilities, they often fall short in terms of creativity and tend to focus on immediate rewards. Picture this, an AI generating responses based on patterns it learned from training data, mimicking human language but lacking the finesse of genuine creativity. This is where QSTAR enters the scene, potentially serving as the missing piece to enhance AI decision-making and problem-solving within the realm of language. Imagine an AI system that not only generates responses, but learns from interactions to improve its strategies. QSTAR, leveraging the principles of reinforcement learning, could pave the way for more thoughtful decision-making in diverse linguistic scenarios. In essence, QSTAR could empower language models to move beyond mere replication of existing data and instead explore novel possibilities within the vast linguistic space. It's like introducing a touch of spontaneity and adaptability to the world of AI-generated language, where responses are not just based on learned patterns, but are shaped by a dynamic learning process. All right, folks, that wraps up our journey into the intriguing realm of OpenAI's QSTAR breakthrough. What are your thoughts on this potential game changer? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like this video if you found it informative. Until next time, stay tech-savvy, and keep exploring the ever-evolving landscape of artificial intelligence.